Hey, what's going on guys? It is Psycho here and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm here with a top 5 video where I'm gonna be listing all my essential asset packs that you guys need as well on Unity. Um, these are the assets that I've been using on almost every single of one of my videos. Some of, some of them are literally on every single one of my videos. And you can also find them in the description boxes of these videos. But anyway, I just wanted to make the video where I show these asset packs so that you can pick them up and use them in your games, level designs, and whatever else you do. And before we start, guys, I would like to thank you all so much for all the support lately. I've been receiving so many more comments, so many more views um, than usual what my channel is used to and what I am used to. I'm so Sort of back now and I'm just gonna bounce back from that and um, sort of reply to every single comment again. With that being said, without further ado, let's get started with this. So at number 5 guys, the first asset that I'm going to be talking about is called for Sunshine. Sunshine is basically a post-processing effect that is um, very very used, very commonly used on my videos. Almost every, literally every single one of my videos has Sunshine included, I think. If not, maybe one misses it out, but Sunshine is literally an essential asset that I would recommend anybody working on Unity. Um, it's just perfect because it's literally just a Sunshaft script. Um, if you look at it that way, but it is also more than that. Sunshine is once again a Sunshaft script, but it can also be used for beautiful soft shadows that you can have on your scenes. And it almost compensates for everything that the Sunshaft script, that is the default script by Unity, um, cannot do. So if you get this asset, you're going to have these Sunshafts, and you're obviously going to have a very, very nice looking um, shadow effect on your scene but it also runs very well, so it's really well optimized and it also lets you optimize everything such as the keyframes that you want the Sunshaft to um, sort of scatter through the objects and above the objects, etc. Meaning you don't really have to necessarily have it running all the time, every single frame of your game. You can just sort of manually um, connect to a script and call it from the API and it literally tells you how to do it on the main script so it's really really simple and you can edit everything from A to Z. I'm not sure if this feature is still relevant but it's still relevant for this asset but I don't know if Unity still doesn't support these devices but basically um, shadows were not supported on a few devices before such as Tigra 3, Oya, Nexus 7 etc and this is also written on their um, asset page so you can just click the link in the description below and it will take you there so you can read more info obviously but um, basically these devices were not supported before and I'm not sure if they are now supported or not maybe they are not because these are some of the devices that are um, not very used it's it's not common to have players for your games that are using these devices but this asset lets you have shadows on these um, unsupported devices as well, which is really, really cool. Um, it's really nice to see that shadows, custom shadows are added by this asset for unsupported devices, literally by the game engine. So if you're making a game, you know, a mobile game, and you want to support these devices, this is the asset to go with. Next up, guys, we have an environment asset called for flooded grounds. To be completely honest with you guys, I recently picked this asset up. And I haven't really used it to the full extent of it, but um, from what I've seen and from the dem demo scenes that I've seen, and also from a scene that I actually built by using this asset called Flooded Grounds, the asset name, um, I'm gonna have the link in the description below to that video so you can watch it as a little demo, sort of. But simply enough, this asset is an environment asset that includes AAA quality house models and building models that are also very modular. So they are fully modular, you can move the walls and you can move the interior. And it's really, really cool to see that from an asset creator because most of the asset packs that are on the asset store are basically, especially those who support the buildings and building models inside of them, they're mostly not modular. So the buildings are represented as a mesh and you can only use that as a mesh in your game, which is not a problem. It's totally okay. I myself own many asset packs like that and I'm very happy with them. But when you have a modular asset pack like this, where you can literally change everything about the house and the buildings that are represented in the asset pack, it's really cool because you can create them as as unique as possible. Besides that, this asset also includes grass textures, trees, and there are also fences and many other props that you can use for your game level 
and just gaming in general, really. So if you're looking for a asset pack that is going to cover up a lot of areas of your level design for a game, for a music video, animation, whatever you're doing, this is the one asset that you want to check out right now, guys. Next up, guys, on number three, we have an asset called for Super Sampling SSAA Anti-Aliasing. Um, this is an asset which is a post-processing effect just from the name. You probably have already understood it. But this is a post-processing effect that is very similar to the regular anti-aliasing that is represented in Unity as a um, standard image effect that follows up with the engine itself. But it's a ton better than that. So it's basically a anti-aliasing script, but it's very high quality. It's going to take care of all the jittering from your buildings, from your edges, from the edges of your game objects and everything else that is going to look super smooth. And it is also going to re result in a very nice color correction on the game objects. Now, don't quote me on color correction because this effect doesn't really include that, but it really smoothens out the objects so that it still looks like it's color corrected so that the grass looks a little bit more green because you know all these edges that are going to end up being pixely black-ish are going to be totally eliminated. And this asset simply was just what I was looking for um, when I realized that the asset or the script that is already given by Unity for free, anti-aliasing script, wasn't really enough for my level designs and wasn't really enough for my, you know, games and whatever I was doing that had level designing inside of it. Because it's a completely okay script, it's really good actually, um, I just had to correct myself there, but it's not enough when you come up to a professional level. So when you have to, you know, when you're representing your products to everybody else, you sort of want to have it a little bit higher than expected and super sampling is just taking care of that and I'm really happy that I got it. And next up we have our final last post-processing effect for this video guys. It's called for SSAO Pro and I like calling this asset for an essential because the one that is already given by Unity once again is really good but it's not enough and when you mix it, with this asset, it's just incredible. That's the effect that I was looking for. And surprisingly enough, guys, this effect is actually running very well on almost every device I've tested. Mobile devices, PC, MacBook, whatever I tested out, it really worked out well. And you really get what is represented on the asset store page. And that's what I like about this asset. It also adds a little bit more shadowing effect, which is more high quality than the regular one in Unity that already does the work very good. But this asset is an essential for at least me because it really takes that effect that is given by Unity and takes it into a completely different level. And when you actually mix it with the one that is given by Unity, you get an astonishing result back. And, um, you know, one is free to use and one is just 25 bucks on the asset store, which is the current price. So don't quote me on that if you're watching this video um, after it's released. <laughs> But um, for the price that you're paying for this asset, it's really, really good. And I would strongly suggest this one to anybody who's seeking for, you know, an SSAO that is really going to work perfectly fine with any object. And last but not least, guys, we have an asset that is also an environment asset called for post apo pack. So um, I would like to call it for post-apocalyptic, but it's definitely not called for that. So I'm not going to butcher the name. <laughs> but anyway, guys, this is an environment asset once again, and it's a really, really good one. Because for, as you can understand from the name, it has ruined models um, from buildings to cars to other vehicles and to um, ruins that you can use for really to give that eerie, creepy kind of zombie vibe to your game. And I would honestly call this for an essential because it really covers up all these areas that are very popular, such as the grasses, the trees, um, the foliage in just general, and obviously these road signs that are post-apocalyptic and all these these ruins and the models and um, the buildings that are already ruined. So it's a really, really cool pack that you can use for almost any any type of game, really, um, depending on how you build your level design, obviously. The technique is up to you, but the model really provides you with high quality models. So it's, it's really good and I would strongly suggest you guys to check it out if you want to build a type of post-apocalyptic game, an abandoned city, or something similar. And once again, this is also one of my favorites because it supports modular buildings. So it's really, really cool. It only supports the exterior, but you can obviously simply just build the interior for the models. But it has modular buildings, which means that you can build your custom ones or use the meshes that are coming with the asset. So go ahead and pick it up, guys. It's an amazing asset that I've been using for since I ever started with YouTube, honestly. 
and I've been happy ever since that I picked it up. Well guys, that was it for this top 5 essential asset packs video that I made today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed and found it helpful. If you did, make sure to slap that like button guys. Let's shoot 450 likes on this video. The support on my previous videos have been astonishing and I've been receiving once again many more comments that I'm used to and it really, really makes me blush. <laughs> Honestly, it really makes me happy to see that you guys are very active on my channel and it's not dying out. So it's really, really cool to see that and I'm sorry that I haven't been able to upload as often as I do. And um, I'm probably, I am I was just in a bad sort of um, time zone, I guess. Not a time zone, but time span. <laughs> and um, I was just not able to upload because I was working so hard. But now I'm bouncing back, I'm coming back to the old um, cycle that I was. So I'm gonna make some commentary videos like this. And if you enjoyed this video, once again, slap a like and let me know in the comments that you enjoyed this so that I can make more commentaries like this and maybe even top five asset packs they can use maybe even i can do that weekly right and um but yeah this was the essential five asset packs that i would suggest everybody on unity to pick up because it's just incredible assets and um, once again if you enjoyed slap that like button guys thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next one